Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from azureautomation.com and welcome to another video of our Selenium 4 series that we have been discussing so far. And today we are going to talk about intercepting network and page resources with Selenium 4 in c -sharp language binding. So we have already discussed about Selenium 4 with Chrome DevTools support in our earlier video where we said Chrome DevTools are supported out of the box in Selenium 4 and you can see all the different features with which Chrome DevTools supports something like application catch, fetch, inspector, network, profiler, performance, console, and DevTools and things of that nature. We also discussed many different examples in Chrome DevTools, for instance, network disabled options that you can do with Chrome DevTools, and also set the network to offline while you try to access a page and intercept a network, which is exactly the same thing that we'll be discussing today in a C sharp language binding but we have already discussed about that in the Java language binding and we also discussed about the console log that you can get from the Chrome DevTool. So these are some of the things that we have already discussed about Chrome DevTool in Java language binding in our earlier videos. But today we are going to be discussing about the network interception that we saw in our Java language binding but in C sharp language binding but with even more explanation. Because I got some questions from the community asking what is the step-by-step -step way that we can deal with this Chrome DevTool to understand and write the code because there are not much documentations available online. And while anyone who is pretty new to get started with the Chrome DevTools and intercepting the network or working with the console log, how do they get started? So this was the question from the community and today in this video we are going to be resolved those problems. So while writing the Chrome DevTool code, it's going to be much easier guys. All we have to do is just follow some sequence of steps and then you'll be easy to get around while writing the code in the Chrome DevTool itself. For instance, in our earlier videos in Java, we have already discussed about that, but I'm going to be dissect that in a step-by-step -step manner so that we can also see how we can write the same code in Java as well as in c -sharp language binding. We know that Java is a cross-platform language. We can run the same code in Windows, Mac, and Linux operating system. But today, while we discuss about this code in c -sharp language winding, we are going to be writing the code in the .NET Core framework instead of writing the code in the .NET Full framework because we can run the same code not just in Windows, but also in Mac and Linux operating system because we know that .NET Core is a cross-platform supportive framework. This way you can ensure that the same code that you write in C Sharp and Java will run in all these three platforms. So the first thing while writing the Chrome DevTool code itself in Java is we need to invoke the Chrome driver. So once we invoke this Chrome driver the next option we need to do or the next step that we need to do working with the Chrome DevTool is to get the DevTools itself. So once we get this DevTool using this get DevTools method which is added in Selenium 4 version because until Selenium 3 this get DevTools method itself was not there but in Selenium 4 you have this option. Once you get this you can then create a session with the Chrome DevTools. So this is the session which actually says that, okay, you have opened the browser session and you have also created a DevTool session. Now you have the full control of the Chrome DevTool, whereas you can get the network, fetch, IO, performance, profilers, and everything that is available in the Chrome DevTools within your own Chrome DevTool sessions that you have got over here. And then you can create many different options, as I said, and one such is the network interception itself. So you can see that using this Chrome DevTools instance variable, I can send the network to be enabled, and then I can set a block, block to URL pattern, something like this for the CSS URL and for the JPEG URL. So this way I can perform the network interception. So this is the step-by-step -step way of dealing with the Chrome DevTools in Java language binding. And now while we see the same thing in the step by step is going to be pretty much exactly the same way like how we saw in the Java and you will see there is a few changes because there is nothing called as a get dev tools method rather there is an interface that's the only major change maybe but other than that the method names are a little bit different but 
the step is going to be pretty much exactly the same thing. So I have aligned the step pretty much like the same like in Java so that you can remember how the code has to be written. So the first step is as usual, we need to invoke the Chrome driver using this new Chrome driver. And then you need to then get this particular Chrome DevTools option. But this is where things are a little bit different. As I said in C Sharp, you need to cast the driver as iDevTools interface. So there is a new iDevTools interface introduced in C Sharp, rather get DevTools method. So this is the major change as you can see in here. Other than that in Java, I guess the reason is because this particular interface is going to be applicable not just for the Chrome browser, but also for the upcoming Microsoft Edge Chrome browsers and stuff. So this is going to be exactly the same reason why the team in Selenium started to write as an interface rather writing this as a method itself. So they have not tied exactly the Chrome, rather they have created this as an interface. And then to create the DevTools session, there is a DevTools create DevTools session method, which is available within the DevTools interface, which returns you a DevTools session class. So this DevTools session class is then responsible for performing the rest of operation, something like enabling the network and you can do the enable command setting and then set the blocked URLs for the different resources, something like CSS, JPEG and PNG. So this is the same step that we saw in Java, but just that there is a little bit changes in the method names and class names and stuff. But other than that, these are exactly the same thing that we saw in our Java language binding SL. So that's it guys. This is how we can actually work with C sharp language binding. And in this demo, I'm going to show you how we can write the same code in a step-by-step -step manner and how we can execute that with .NET Core project instead of the full framework .NET. So for that, I'm going to flip to my Visual Studio 2019 version. All right, so now I'm in my Visual Studio 2019 edition and I'm going to start creating a new project in here. So for that, I'm going to create a new project in here and I'm going to choose the unit testing project or maybe I'm going to choose the end unit project. But instead of doing the full framework, I'm going to choose the .NET Core as I told you before. I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to give a name here as Selenium 4 Net Core uh, Proj. And I'm going to hit create. So this way it will going to create a .NET Core project for me. And as you can see, this is not a full framework project. Rather, this is a Net Core project as you can see in here. And now I need to add the dependencies for the Selenium 4 itself. So I'm going to go to the manage NuGet package here and I'm going to go to the browse and I'm going to search for Selenium. So if you search for Selenium, as you can see, the web driver, it brings you the latest stable version is 3.14, but we require version 4 alpha 3 version. So in order to get that, you need to check this include pre-release checkbox so that you can actually see the 4RO alpha 3 coming in as well. So you can see alpha 1, 2 and 3 coming in. So I'm going to take the latest alpha 3 version and then I'm going to install that. So once I install this, it will be installed eventually. And now if I go to the packages, you can see that I have the Selenium web driver the NUnit test project and the NUnit 3, right? So these are the latest version which is supported, which is pretty cool. And now I can start writing the actual code itself. So as I told you before, to start writing the code, the first thing that we need to do is to create the DevTools session and the iWeb driver. So I'm just gonna do this. Protected of DevTools session, which is gonna be session and I'm gonna hit control dot to add the dev tool session. So let me make this a little bigger so that you can see this very clearly. And then I'm gonna do protected of I web driver of driver. Hit control dot once again to get this particular web driver as well. And now we need to write our actual code for intercepting the network. So as I told you before, in order to start working with the Chrome DevTool interception, the first thing we need to do is to 
perform some step-by-step -step action which is nothing but set chrome driver in here that's where we're going to be working in so for that driver is equal to new of the chrome driver hit control dot and once this is added we then need to get the dev tools so for doing that we need to have what is called as a i dev tools interface so I'm just going to call this as dev tools is equal to driver as i dev tools. So this way I can cast it to the i dev tools. And then we need to create the actual dev tools session. So for doing that session, I have already set the sessions over here. So I'm just going to call the session of dev tools dot create dev tool session so this method will return me the actual session or the dev tool session itself so now i can do a play around with this particular session so our setup is fully done and now all we have to do is to start writing the actual code so which is nothing but the interception option so i'm going to write the network interception code is going to look something like this so it's going to be session is equal to session dot you can see once i hit dot i get the various different properties something like command timeout active session id browser dom emulations and input io logs and stuff so the one which i'm interested in today is going to be the network so i'm just going to need that and then i'm just going to enable the network so once i enable this network I then need to call the what is called as the enable command but enable command won't come in here because still the enable is going to be uh, requiring me to pass the enable command setting itself so you can see it actually requires a enable command settings so I'm just gonna call the enable command settings and once I hit control dot you can see it doesn't really brings me up anything the reason being visual studio don't know exactly where this method is actually sitting basically this method is actually sitting in the open qa selenium dev tools of the network which i can do using the new of the network dot uh, and if i hit control dot you can see the network is uh, a class name which is available uh, prevalently in many different places so probably you should be using the fully qualified name so which is nothing but the open qa selenium dev tools of the network and you can see that this is currently being resolved and then we need to set the block to url so i'm just going to call the session dot network dot set blocked url over here and then I'm going to call the new of the open QA uh, of the network of the set URL command settings. This one. And where in here, I need to pass the different URLs that I'm going to be blocking in. So the URLs are nothing but a string arrays. So I need to pass the string array. It's pretty much exactly like how we did in the uh, Java as well. And then I need to pass the CSS, Java, and the PNG options, which is nothing but this one, right? So as you can see, it has a star uh, colon double slash uh, star slash star dot CSS. So as of now, there is no such method which is available in Java, which is pretty easy to do with. But as of now, with C sharp, the author has not did anything, or maybe the community is still working on it. So as of now, we don't really have a method where I can directly pass the star dot CSS or star dot Java. Uh, rather, I need to do something like this. Just kind of crazy, but yeah, this is what we can do as of now. And then I'm gonna do a driver dot uh, URL is equal to uh, HTTP colon double slash www dot execute automation dot com so now if i execute this particular code you will see a completely scrambled way of looking at the page so what i'm going to do is probably i'm just going to comment this particular piece of code as of now I'm just going to save this and i'm just going to run this particular test i will show you how the code actually looks like or maybe how the page actually looks like during this particular execution so i'm just going to right click this uh, network interception and then i'm going to run this so it says the build succeeded 
and now it's starting to run the test so it has opened the browser in here as you can see it's opened uh, the Chrome browser and it should navigate to the Exit Automation website right now and you can see that the whole site is actually loading without any problem so basically the CSS is loaded the JPEGs are being loaded and everything is actually loaded and that's why the page looks exactly how the application looks like so I'm just gonna close this particular browser and this time I'm just gonna uncomment this particular piece of code over here and then I'm just gonna run this particular uh, code and I will show you what's basically gonna happen so you can see that the page is being loaded the browser has been opened and now the page loader is actually going to look something very very scrambled just not how the page actually looks like you can see that it is completely broken and a lot of different resources this particular uh, site actually has got is completely gone and the reason is because we have intercepted the network using the Chrome DevTools and the page looks pretty much exactly how it should not look like. So this is how we can intercept the network and this is how we can actually work with the Chrome DevTool in c -sharp language binding of Selenium 4. In our next videos, we'll talk even more different way of working with Chrome DevTools in much greater details. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.